I'm Wendy Engman, I'm the THRF Associate Professor of Breast Cancer Research at the University of Adelaide, uh, based at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. I'm a breast biologist, that means that I study the cells in the breast, how they develop, how they interact with each other, and how they affect the uh, risk of disease states in the breast. So that is a question that we get quite often. Why do boys have nipples when they don't actually need them? And the answer is that nipples actually start developing very early on in a foetus's life. Um, before that foetus is even um, identifies um, as looking either male or female. So female breasts are made up of a number of different types of cells and different tissue compartments. There is the epithelial cells or, or lobules, they're, they're organised into um, ducts and lobules. They are the milk secreting cells um, during lactation when milk is being, being produced. And they are embedded within uh, what's called stromal tissue, which is made up of a whole host of different types of cells, such as fibroblasts, macrophages, um, different other types of immune cells, as well as extracellular matrix, such as collagen. And then all of this is within a fatty tissue or adipose tissue. So breast buds develop very early on when a girl starts to go through puberty, um, around the ages of 8 to 13 years, but it can vary quite considerably between girls. Um, it's caused by rising levels of oestrogen, which occur when a girl starts to go through puberty, and it's also then um, uh, influenced by progesterone as well. Both of these hormones are produced by the ovary when it starts to function during puberty. Um, but there's also rising levels of hormones in boys at this time as well, which can stimulate a bit of development in, in the breast. Um, but it uh, subsides in time in boys, uh, continues to develop in girls. So there is huge variability between girls in the size and shape and also the firmness of breasts. Um, some breasts are more lumpy than others. Um, it's really uh, about natural variability in, in how we are. You know, we have um, different shaped ears, we have different noses and different eyes, and we also have different shapes of other parts of our body, such as the breasts. It doesn't have any effect on whether uh, a girl, when she has a pregnancy and, and is producing milk, and doesn't affect her ability to breastfeed. The size of breasts doesn't really have any impact on her fertility or her ability to make milk. Our laboratory has been studying how the breast changes and develops during the menstrual cycle. And we've been focusing on a particular type of cell, which is called a macrophage. Uh, macrophages are part of the immune system and they're usually involved in um, checking for infection or uh, cells which might have become cancerous. Um, but we've found that they are also involved in the development of the breast and they support the development that occurs after ovulation with rising progesterone. They support the development of that, um, those milk secreting cells and they also have a role in cleaning up the dead cells um, if a pregnancy doesn't proceed. And some of our research has suggested that there is a window of breast cancer risk which opens up each menstrual cycle around the time that a woman has her period, uh, which is when those cells um, start to die because of the progesterone um, being reduced, and um, that the macrophages, which are supposed to be uh, checking the, the body for potential cancers um, actually uh, taken off of that job and because of their job in the breast development they uh, are letting cancerous cells go through into the next menstrual cycle and this could be why uh, an increased number of menstrual cycles is associated with an increased breast cancer risk for a woman's lifetime.
So when uh, women are on a hormonal contraceptive pill, they do actually have a slightly increased risk of breast cancer because they're taking a pill which has oestrogen and progesterone in it. And they are the hormones which um, promote development of the breast. So it makes sense that they would therefore be at a slightly increased risk. The risk doesn't persist after women stop taking the pill. And um, also, I need to consider that women who are taking the contraceptive pill are generally younger women, whereas breast cancer um, occurs predominantly in older women that are probably not so concerned about the risk of conceiving. Although I should say that uh, breast cancer is still a risk um, for women who are younger as well.